What is up everybody, me Seek Malik here and today we're going to be going over the patch notes for the firmware 4.50 for the PS4 and PS4 Pro. Before I get started with this video, make sure you do leave a like. It is really important that you leave a like on this video and share this with friends, families, or whoever has a PS4 or wants to know what's going on in a PS4 scene. Uh, with that out of the way, let's get started. Alright, so I'm not going to go through this whole list, but you can, uh, you know, check the link in the description for this article and, you know, read through everything. So, here we go. Uh, for the first one, you can now use USB storage device to install applications or move applications from your PS4 system storage to the following USB storage. So, you can actually just move your, uh, games and stuff from your PS4 to that, uh, external hard drive that you have set up on your PS4 somewhere. Uh, it supports USB 3.0 or later. Uh, it requires a 250 gigabyte HDD storage minimum and a maximum of 8 terabytes, which is pretty cool. Uh, kind of over what I expected. I thought like it would only support up to 2 terabytes. So, hey, we, we get something pretty cool. Uh, the notifications have been redesigned to show up in one single list, which is good. Keeps things a little organized, I guess, for me. I really do not like to see my notifications, to be honest. I don't even like seeing messages. I don't, I don't like seeing anything that notifies me of anything on my system at all. <clears throat> so, that's, that, that's out of the way. Uh, when using Remote Play on a Windows PC, Mac, Xperia smartphone, or Xperia tablets, I never knew they had tablets, you can now use your device microphone, that is awesome, for voice chat in games or in parties. So, I can use my fucking, I guess I can use my uh, Turtle Beaches on my PC or my laptop while it's share playing with my PS4, or if I had one of those smartphones or tablets I could use either one of those to uh, communicate you know to people in the party or in game so that's that's a pretty neat feature I guess I didn't really see that one coming up next but yeah it's pretty nice all right uh, you can now use screenshots and customize the background of your home screen which is pretty cool and I've already did it if you can see right here uh, it's pretty nice in my opinion in my opinion uh i guess they could edit a little more to that but hey that's sony and i'm gonna enjoy this because they put it there let's just be happy that they put it there you can now post status updates screenshots and animated gifs to the what's new section or the recent activity section right here i guess they're trying to make this a social media platform now i don't understand what they're doing here but whatever I, I do like to share my shit so hey it works for me there are a lot of more updates but hey i'm i'm, I'm not going to sit here and read it i don't on i honestly do not like reading but yeah again you guys can go check it out and you know read through it so do that uh um has how how do i feel about this update it's been it, it it's a needed update for me really uh it hasn't fixed my problem as far as my ps4's performance i mean it it lags like fuck here and there but at least it stops uh it stopped freezing Every time I sign into my main profile, it it will freeze like crazy. It'll crash and tell me I need to update. This was actually needed for me, and I'm pretty sure it was needed for a lot of other people that didn't want to reset their system, like me. Uh, yeah, I really did not want to reset. I don't want to have to re-download everything and install stuff. It, it's too much. It's too much. But yeah, it's a good thing they did come out with this update. Uh, Pretty cool features, new features. A lot of good stuff came into this, and I'm happy that it did. Pretty cool. So, hopefully, there's more neat stuff in the future, like uh, custom themes. I would, I would really like to make my own theme instead of using what they have on the store. But that's it, everybody. That's that's the update. That's everything you need to know. Everything, well, everything I told you. But you can go ahead and check out the rest of the notes in the description or you can go check out the website. I will leave them there for you guys. So 
that is it everybody make sure you do leave a like and if you're new to this channel subscribe for more gaming videos and gaming news that is it everybody peace out